When I first saw the Yoga C930 in a pile of Lenovo laptops, I glossed over it. After all, this was the same meeting at which I first saw the new Yoga book. With that futuristic frame and the crazy keyboard, it was distracting. But I'm really glad I opted for a Yoga C930 review unit instead, because I've now spent over a month with it. And when I want to use a Windows notebook, this is my new go-to. To appreciate this machine, you've got to look past that forgettable iron-gray color scheme. I do wish Lenovo would offer bolder colorways to go with its hardware designs. I say that because this chassis, to me, is close to perfect. It's lightweight and trim, with lines that are at once modern and sleek, and also restrained enough that it doesn't feel like it's showing off. Pop the lid, and the first thing that catches the eye even before the screen is the Dolby soundbar built into the hinge. The dual woofers are located in the body, but the twin tweeters are built into the bar, which rotates so the sound is radiating outward whether you're in laptop, tablet, or presentation mode. I'd have liked a bit more bass. When streaming songs from across a room, I had to crank the volume, which pushed the speakers slightly into tinny territory. But watching a TV episode from about three feet away, the sound was rich and enveloping at three quarters volume. By the by, the new season of Star Trek Discovery is great. You should watch it. That 4K IPS display on my review device is, in a word, stunning. You can save some dough by opting for an HD panel instead. My friends at Windows Central reviewed that one. But having tasted Windows in 4K with this kind of sharpness and color saturation, I couldn't go back. The picture is tuned by Dolby Vision and set to the bright color profile by default. I didn't even think to play around with the vivid or dark modes until I sat down to write this review. Out of the box, the display looks incredible. Whether you go for the 4K or Full HD, you get a touchscreen, which also means you can make use of the stylus. Normally, folks, I wouldn't be putting a pen in the Pro category. Typically, they cost about 100 bucks extra, and in the case of something like the Surface, you've got to click them magnetically to the outside of the casing, which means they often fall off in a bag. Well, with the C930, the stylus comes included, and it's got a nice little silo to live in that charges the pen while it sleeps. Now, I do think the Surface Pen and Apple Pencil are the better styli in general. This one is on the small side, and there's no tilt support for shading. The silo's location also has the effect of moving all the ports to the left side of the laptop. One USB-A, two Thunderbolt 3, and a headphone jack. While you get a standard Lenovo brick on a string for the charger, the tip is USB-C, which makes me happy and it charges from 0 to 50% in just a half hour, which makes me happier still. Battery life, too, was more than serviceable. Watching a two-hour episode of MST3K at about half brightness pushed me down from 95 to 75%, and on my various writing-heavy workdays, I never felt like I wouldn't make it to 6 p.m. Going all the way to bedtime, though, might be a bit of a stretch. Now, the best way to ruin the look of a nice laptop is to slap a sticky note on your webcam, but in today's world, it pays to err on the safe side. So Lenovo took a note from its own Google Smart Display, and it added a sliding cover to the webcam. Like the silo for the pen, it's these little bits of attention to detail that I appreciate every time I open the machine. The act of popping it open is one of the not-so-great parts of the Yoga C930, so let's start there for the downsides. It doesn't quite pass the one-handed opening test. Some folks will also be bothered by the wasted space below the display and the decision to ditch face unlock for a fingerprint sensor. But neither of these bothered me as much as the bloatware. The McAfee antivirus package that Lenovo preloads is one of the more aggressive I've seen. The pop-ups take up a full quarter of the screen, and they persist until you uninstall all of the McAfee processes. The combination of these with Lenovo's own security pop-ups makes for a tacky, annoying experience. At least it gave me a reason to use the pen, though. Also, I found standby battery to fluctuate substantially. Sometimes it would drain at about 1% per hour while asleep, and other times I'd open it up to find a low battery warning when I didn't really expect one. This, along with the always frustrating Windows Update shenanigans, is something I complain about on every Windows machine, and I really wish Microsoft would get its OS in order in these respects. 
Wrapping things up, the webcam is fine, but maxing out at 720p, it's not the greatest you can get. And just to be greedy about it, I'd like to have seen some more features, like an SD card reader or a dedicated graphics card. That last bit speaks to my perception of this device versus the reality. And that reality is that this is an Ultrabook, built with portability as paramount. And me being Mr. Mobile, of course, I love that. But it also brings so much capability across the processor options, the great display and soundbar, and little touches like the pen and webcam cover that I see it as more of a do-everything PC. The only thing stopping me from making this my go-to for writing and gaming is the lack of a dedicated graphics card. And even here, you've got the option of connecting an external graphics unit, thanks to the four-lane PCIe Thunderbolt ports. Of course, that would add more cost to an already pricey package, but given how much it does and how well it does it, I have no hesitation recommending the Yoga C930 to anyone looking for an attractive Windows laptop that's feature-packed and also easy on the back. Coming out of a slow CES into a packed MWC, coverage is picking up speed, folks. So if you don't want to miss the next Mr. Mobile video, whether it's a smartwatch or smart sunglasses or a laptop or a smartphone review, please subscribe to The Mr. Mobile on YouTube and follow me at the same handle on Instagram as well. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay mobile, my friends.